Hey fellow Backyard Warriors, Nick here. And today I just wanted to sort of address a question. A lot of people have asked me how long PVC pipe bows last. And while I give, you know, general figures or I say, you know, if treated well, they'll last X amount of time. Really, I'm not entirely sure. As far as the PVC bows are concerned, I don't have any personal first-hand experience past two years. And this bow right here is the oldest bow that I still have with me that's made of PVC pipe. Now there are some bows that I made before this that I've given away and I have really no way of contacting the new owners so I don't know how they're still doing. But I can tell you that this bow has been up on the wall probably for the last three months. It's been strong that entire time. And, I mean, it still shoots fairly well. And after this, I'll show you guys how this thing shoots. But it's just a really simple bow. This is one of my earlier types. This is similar to the simple, uh, simple PVC horse bow. The curves are a little different. It's got less string follow than the three-quarter inch pipes. This is this pulls 60 pounds at 28 inches. But it's a nice little bow. You know, it's it's over two years old now, and it's still shooting fairly well. You all remember this bow that we made not too long ago. Well, my wife thought it was really pretty, so after I took it to a couple of events, a couple of events, this thing got drive fired, I don't know, at least, it's got, I, I went to a, an event at a, a uh, community college campus, and I swear this bow must have been drive fired about 20 times. Nothing happened to it. The only thing that happened is this. You can hear that little bit of squeaking. And it's coming from right in here, just where the sea is just a tad loose, if you can see that. But it's got enough taper on it to where it won't pull out. I could probably remedy this by putting a little bit of glue inside of there. But it's still stable. I shoot it every day. And my wife thought it was really pretty, so it's been on the wall for the last, I don't know, for the last couple weeks. But I've had this strong ever since, practically ever since we made this, I've had this thing strung. It's kind of like a personal experiment. It's still shooting fine, and I can tell that it's still got a long life ahead of it. It still shoots really well. But to answer your guys' questions, the PVC bite bows, they seem to last a very long time. And, I mean, I haven't been the best caretaker for them. I keep them strong. I've had them strung up in a hot car all day. Uh, they go through repeated dry fires. You know, when I go to events, especially for some reason, kids are okay. But when you go to a college campus, it's a, it's a lot harder to get people to not dry fire bows. But they've held up. And I, I personally believe that if you took really good care of them, the same kind of care that you would a fine laminated recurve or a wooden longbow, I'm sure they would last just as long, if not longer. I have, I have no doubt that they would last a very long time. You know, solid PVC pipe bow. Aside from UV damage, which can also happen to fiberglass bows, it has very little chance to fail if you think about it. There are no laminations for glue to run out of or grow brittle. PVC pipe itself is rot resistant, water resistant, resistant to most chemicals. So all in all, I think a PVC pipe bow would be very resilient, would last quite a long time. Now, if I had the choice, 
I would actually, if I were in a long-term survival situation, I'd probably want to pack away a couple of those small takedown bows and just keep them in a bag or something. Because even if the bag goes underwater or gets wet or is in a hot place, I'm fairly confident that in 10 or 20 years, if I ever needed them, I could probably take the bows out of the bag, put them together, and use them. And I don't think I could say that for wood or even laminated fiberglass. So these are just my opinions. I've still got, we've got to wait about 10 or 20 years to see if my claims are true. So just stay tuned and in 10 or 20 years we'll get to that. But for right now I'm going to shoot this bow for you guys and we're going to put it through the chronograph. Alright, so I'll be shooting this bow for you guys. Here's the chronograph and I'll be shooting my 435 grain arrow. there we go. I know you guys have seen this quite a few videos lately, but I'm just going to shoot it since I mentioned it in this video. I'm just going to shoot it for the heck of it. Here you go. Here's the chronograph, and I'll be shooting my 435 grain arrows. So there you go. There's my target over there. So I'm just going to shoot it so you guys can see. So there you go. Thanks for watching.